Ding dong. People didn't think Julius Randle could back up what he did last year, being an all NBA player. He's on his way to being another first or second team all NBA player this year. Also. And they're winning. Yep. Tim's has the Knicks six and three, while the Bucks fall to four and five. Ooh. It was Drew Holiday's first game back after missing five. Yo, they miss this many? They need their size, Brook Lopez. Mm -hmm. yeah, also, Chris Middleton's not playing as well. Yep. Here's Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose still thinking about his answer. Yeah. <laughs> you want to ask me, since I've been everybody, since I've been the five heartbeats, since I've been everybody, Wilson Pickett, <laughs> Little Richard, everybody, you want to Well, I would me? not call you Little Richard. Well, Little Richard from Macon, Georgia. I went to school in Macon, mm -hmm. so hey, man. We, we, we value Little Richard down in Macon, Georgia. Yeah, man, Sam, I, I, I asked you the question. I'm going to take Chris's Miles jobs right now. <laughs> Derrick Rose, how he's been playing, obviously you finished games. Him and Kimball Walker, that combination, as a coach, do you feel great having two guards like that uh, going down the stretch? Offensively, yeah. But if you got timeouts and stuff and you go offense, defense, I would definitely take Kimball out because Kimball's not known as a great defender. He's not big. Teams are going to put him in high screen and roll, try to force him to either come over the top or switch. So that's when you got that size, you got Quigley, you got some bigger got guards on the bench that you can bring in. And that's the thing I like about this Knicks team. Everybody falls in their role. Whenever Tibbs calls a player number, they come out, they play hard, they respond, they play within the system. And this Knicks team, man, they have found their way. They lost a couple of games last before this one, but they never stopped playing, and they was down big. I stopped watching this game from home early because the Knicks, Milwaukee was just blowing them off the, off the floor. Let me ask you not, Chris. Nerlens Noel and Mitchell Robinson, what do you think about those two bigs? Well, first and foremost, I love Mitchell Robinson to see him put on weight to be back on the floor mm -hmm. and come back from injury. Remember, this is a guy that didn't play in college, right, yeah. and decided to train and work out and has been phenomenal for the Knicks uh, when he's on the floor. So if he's healthy, love him. Nerlens Noel, wish he could catch a couple more of those passes, you know, around, around the basket, mm -hmm. but also defensive-minded, great at rebounding. So I like those two. When you as combine those yes, two. But, but here's the thing the that you're missing. He is Fournier, Jericho Sims, too. Yes, but I think it's Fournier and also quickly. Those two guys are going to be the key. Who do you like as the closing big for the Knicks? Closing big, I like Robinson. Yeah. Just because it's active. Yep. He's active on both ends, and also he can run the floor, and he just make things happen. Came in at 230, now 280. 280. Wow. 280 so now. He went to work. Has a great trainer named Marcel Scott. That's the key to that. Mm -hmm. Is it? Ah, Derek Rose. Uh, Marcel, in, call me. I think. <laughs> <laughs> after, you, after you hang up with Sweetie, call me. I think uh, Derek Rose knows what he wants to say now. All right. You guys were down 19 at the end of one, 21 at one point. Yeah. What did you guys talk about to get back in this game? Um, playing with a, a sense of urgency, playing together and keep fighting, working the game. And um, everybody just stayed together, you know. Um, Tails played me um, a lot of minutes tonight. Um, I'm there whenever he needs me, and I just got to make sure I stay in shape. But it comes with trust. The guys trust me to play the way that I play, and I was just trying to push the pace. 23 points for you tonight. You have the second best plus minus, but the best amongst guys who play heavy minutes on this roster. It's not always about points with you. At this stage of your career, what is it like to be out there just to help the team? I'm, I'm a winner, bro. I'm just trying to win. Um, I mean, the team had a meeting the other day. We were just talking about where we want to be, where our goals were, and um, we wanted to get further than last year. And um, it's a great group of guys, man. I'm just following, just trying to lead, be more vocal in the locker rooms, and thank God that we got this win tonight. And how did guys feel after that meeting? Oh, it was good, man. Um, I mean, we don't want to talk about it, but it was good, bro. It was good. Great to see Derrick Rose Refreshing. not only bounce back from the injuries, but have the role that he has in extending his career. Yeah, and I, one thing I love about it, he's not out there trying to prove that he's Derrick Rose of old. He's, he's Derrick Rose who he is now, which is still a really good <laughs> yeah. point guard. But what I love about his demeanor, is, it's always been like this, Sam, since he was a youngster. It's all about winning. It's never been about him. I mean, he can't attack like he used to athletically. But, boy, to come up with 23 points at times, I mean, he looks like he can still close games for you. Five or six minutes, go on a streak of 10 or, 10 or 12 points. I just love the way he's playing. He had to put in a lot of work to come back from those injuries. I mean, I just like the maturity, the young man that he's developing to. Look, Derrick Rose was the MVP. Derrick Rose the, had everything in front of him. Then he started getting hurt. And not to let that affect you and just take away everything. And to your point, to find a niche 
on a team and not come out every night and try to be the Derrick Rose of MVP and remind people. But what he's done is he's really reminded people how great he really is to come back, change his game, and reinvent himself. And look at him. He is probably, other than Julius Randle, he's the most important player on this Knicks team. People don't understand that. After Julius Randle, Derrick Rose is the most important because he's their leader, and he's the guy that no matter what happens or whatever you ask him to do,